friends welcome back to another video we're back we're back with friday fillers it's about time we got these things rolling again so i've had a heap of you asking about my knots which ones i use how i tied them so i thought this was a pretty good place to start so today i'm going to show you four fishing knots that i use all the time if you learn these four knots you'll be covered for pretty much every eventuality you'll come across when you get out there i've got my coffee i've got my gopro let's get to it Okay guys, let's get going. First knot I'm gonna show you is the double Davy knot. Now this is the knot I use to attach my flies to my tippet. Heap of you asking, so this is how you do it. Right, so let's just assume that this right here is the eye of your hook. And we'll take this piece of paracord here as the end of your tippet. So double Davy knot, super simple, super strong, super quick, super cool. Did I say super enough? It's the bomb. Right, so this is the eye of your hook. This is the end of your tippet, is you're gonna go down there from above, and then you're gonna go over the top, and then back through, just like an overhand knot, like so. And then what you're gonna do is trap it here with your thumb and your forefinger, and then you're gonna come up underneath, and then back through towards you like this, okay? Now if I was to pull that tight, that would be the Davy knot. But what I'm gonna do here, is I'm now gonna trap it at the top again here, and I'm gonna go over the top again, just like I did with my first one. And then I'm going to hold that there, and then just pull that tight. Now as that starts to cinch down like that, what will happen is this will come out like this at a right angle. And that's super important. This comes out at 90 degrees like this, there's absolutely no way that knot will slip at all. And that is it. Super simple, you don't have to wet the line, don't have to moisten it. Don't have to do anything like that. You just pull it down, cinch it tight, make sure this is all pulled nice and snug, and you're in business. Trim that off, and you're away. Knot number two. <laughs> number two, the perfection loop. So really good when you're making your own leaders and you need to put that loop for that loop-to-loop -loop connection to your fly line. Two seconds, job done. Okay, cool. so you're gonna take your piece of line, then you're going to make yourself a loop. So you're gonna go around the back, like that. So that's now behind there. Make that quite a nice, decent sized loop. Pinch nice and hard here, then I'm gonna take my tag end here, and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go over my thumb and around the back like that, and then I'm gonna pinch it again. So you kind of make two little loops like that. See that? Now I'm just gonna take my little tag end here and then just pass it over between the two and then trap it on the back like that. And then you just reach through here, grab the little loop, pull that through, pull that down, job done. Perfection loop. How simple is that? All right, so when you're joining two pieces of line together, whether it's similar breaking strain or leader to tip it, stepping down, whatever, switch to the blood knot. So if you don't use this one already, take the time, learn it. It's really good, it's really strong. It's money. Uh, let's call this my leader, and let's call this my tippet. So this is gonna be slightly thicker in diameter than this, okay? You can join two pieces of tippet of equal diameter or slightly different, it doesn't matter. The principle stays the same. I'm gonna take my leader, I'm gonna take my tippet, and I'm going to cross that over, and I'm gonna pinch that really hard here with my thumb and my forefinger. And that's gonna buy me a bit of space here, which will be real useful in a minute. So I'm now gonna come round up the back of here, and I'm gonna go around, let's say one, two, three, and then we'll go one more, four, like so. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that tag end, and I'm gonna pass that right up through that little gap that I made just then, and I'm gonna pinch that now with my left hand, and I'm gonna keep that good pinch going on there, because it's gonna buy me some uh, some space on this side now as well. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my opposite tag end and I'm gonna come over and around the back. So it's the opposite way to this one. This was under and around this way. This is gonna go under and around this way. So it's opposite. I'm gonna go around one, I'm gonna go around two, and I'll go around three times. Now I'm only going around three times with this one here, look, because this is slightly thicker in diameter 
if I go around four as well, this side will be like unevenly big compared to the other side. And I don't want that. So now I'm going to go over the back and I'm going to go down through that same gap. So you see what I've done there. It's just opposite. Now if I just tighten this up a little bit so you can see what's happening, this is what we've got. Basically, opposites. And that's what you want. It's super important that when you tighten this up, these are going out completely opposite to each other. You'll know if you've got it wrong because these will both be like that, facing that way at the same side, and that's a weak knot, so you don't want that. What you need to see is pretty much that. Nice and even, these popping out the opposite sides, and that's a blub knot. Trim there, trim there, job done. And lastly, Okay, so left is loop. This is what I use if I'm fishing streamers in freshwater or I'm fishing pretty much anything in salt water. This is the knot I use putting your flies on. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to make an overhand loop in my line here, like that. Just over the back, through there, make a loop, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna take this tag end, put it through my eye of my hook, now I'm going to come up from underneath and I'm going to come back through that loop I made. So it's important here that you see this and this, they're coming through from underneath. They're coming through on the same side. Okay, and then just kind of cinch that up to, to there, pinch it. And now what I can do is take my tag end, wind it around one, two, three. Now it depends how thick your leader is as to how many knots you want to make it but you know three four five is pretty good and then i'm going to take that and go back through that same loop i made in the beginning like that so what you're looking at is as i pull this tight everything cinches down like that and then you just trim off your tag end here and you've got yourself a little bit of movement through that loop. The tag end is facing back that way, which is kind of nice, especially if you're fishing streamers around weed. It doesn't pick up so much weed and that's super strong. So there you have it, four knots. Learn them, get good at them, use them. They're awesome. Same as always, if I'm learning a new knot, I'll just find myself some old like 20 or 30 pound line and I'll just sit on the floor and I'll just time and time and time and time till I can do them without even thinking. That way, when you get on the river, you're not trying to remember what you're doing and you can just get on and fish. Cool, so, hope you found this interesting. Hope that answers some questions. Hope you use them. Sweet, well, that's it. Friday fella, number one, done. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Drop me a comment in the comment section below if you've got anything you want me to make a video on, and I'll do my best to do that for you. If you haven't subscribed, Hit the button, join the team. I will be dropping one of these a week and hopefully I will still be able to get out and fish with all this craziness going on. Till then, stay safe, stay sane. I'll see you next week. Ciao.